right here behind this shed. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna put this brand new 10 foot snow pusher that I got that now I won't get an opportunity to use this here. We're closer to April now than we are to the beginning of March and you can see here, we don't show any snow. We don't even show temperatures that will hold snow well into the 50s there in another week here. March is typically our snowiest month but to be honest with you, the second half of winter for us has been unusually dry. Of course, if I would not have gotten this snow pusher and this snow blower I'd assume that we'd probably have about eight feet of snow right now that's just the way it goes right it's a darn toot and shame I'm gonna go so far as to remove the snow blower from this tractor as well I just don't see us using it even if we get three four inches of snow which wouldn't I, I mean I would expect it at some point It'll melt so dang fast it's not worth moving anymore at this point. Onyx wants to test something here. Now don't be too evil. Oh, 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 oh. Kids, Anna suddenly wants out of the shop. Uh-oh, the boss is here. Did you come to help me? You don't have, oh yeah, you did, of course you did. We had a slight change of plans because the ground was too uneven in our original spot. So we unhooked it back here instead. I think that's a better spot for it. What do you think, Isla? She says, wee! Normal bucket back on and we resume normal operation after not putting this thing through any snow operation whatsoever. Oh, come on, come on, we're hooked. There we go. The boss left me. She left me here all alone to go through the service truck by myself. So now I'm gonna service the service truck, go through, check the tires, check all the fluids, everything on this thing, make sure we got the spare parts and the tools in that we want to have for the spring work to make sure we got the exact stuff we want for the machines we're gonna be running. And that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Nope, not yet. Psych, we got a truck. We got one truck out of here for the day. I was told there's going to be two of them, but nobody's called me yet on the second one. So I guess I'll load up the grain cart and see if I get any phone calls on that second one. Gets a little bit treacherous walking back here when everything is icy and melting unevenly. It's not that fun. I hear truck number two, and now I see it. <laughs> well, he's getting into position, and I let the tractor warm up. I'll fill out a quick bill of lading here so that the receivers got all the information they need as far as what contract numbers this is and where it's going, who gets the check, everything like that. This one's got the taller trailer. A little bit tougher to see. Another one down. Reload. Oh, oh. Just about went down. walking around out here right now. It's overcast, but it's a decent view from up here tonight. All right, it is the afternoon of the next day. What a beautiful afternoon it is. The sun is shining. It's in the mid 40s out here. I've got another truck pulling in, so I'm gonna grab the grain cart here and load him up. I got the service truck done inside the shop there. I'm gonna see if I can head over to John Deere over in Glenwood and grab some parts there to keep me moving, particularly with the 8360 and that air filter that I need.
one more down. Now just to reload for another one that's coming. It's very cyclical sometimes, this job. Mark, hey, are you guys open? If I roll up to the back door, yeah, yeah I'm guessing since you answered the phone, you're open. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying to decide between a 308 or a 6.5 Creedmoor. Another one loaded and John Deere is open, so I'll run up there, grab some parts. I haven't left this yard in just about an entire week, which hasn't bothered me at all. So I'm lucky, my family is, is really lucky to be in the position we're in with this whole situation going on where so far to this point, we really haven't been negatively affected by everything going on. But for those of you out there who definitely have been strongly affected by this, my condolences to you. I strongly uh, hope that things go better soon and we get this figured out. And um, I, I, that's, that's really all I got. I wish I had something more profound to say, but I, I'm sorry, I don't. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. You bet. Have a good day. You too. These crummy markers. There we go. No. Close enough. Get the new filter squeezed into place here. What'd you bring me? A box. A box of what? I don't know. Mom just told me to give it to you. Oh, okay. This is a grain gauge that was sent to me at the end of last harvest by a viewer whose name I don't know or remember and I have a very large stack of letters from viewers and fans sitting on my desk that I really need to get to but haven't and it grows and it grows and it grows and I don't remember if I got back to the person that sent me that or not but if I didn't, thank you very much. Uh, we are gonna install that hopefully in the uh, newer wet bin um, sometime this summer. That, that thing's full of grain right now but uh, once we get a little bit pulled out of it Hopefully we'll be able to climb in there and install that at the height that we want. And then we won't have to climb up there quite so often this fall when we're trying to see how full that bin is. I hear a truck. <laughs> Look at that beautiful white nasty Peterbilt. I love it. A little tougher to see this one in the sun and he wanted to control his load from front to rear, so he's gonna move instead of me. Perfect, he's done this before. Guess I'll load this back up again. I'm gonna start running out of daylight to accomplish all the things that I would like to accomplish once again. So I'm gonna let that load, load itself up, do its thing. I'll just have to keep an eye on it while I'm over here working on random. I just can't stand the way that dog yips at that power wheels. Gotta move a cart. Loaded. Well now that's not gonna work because I can't get out with the door on the skid steer to get this thing onto the forks myself. That means tomorrow I will either have to take the door off the skiddy or I'll have to put the forks on the 6175 and get it out that way using the tractor. I'm being told there's a pot roast ready in the house for me, but before I run in, I wanna mention something. A couple of videos ago when I picked up this F2F seed, I mentioned that this conventional seed, if grown using organic practices, could be used as organic seed. I was wrong about that for a couple different reasons. Number one, this is coated, and in order to be organic, it needs to be coated in either an organic coating, a certified organic coating, or not coated at all with any kind of seed treatment whatsoever. Also, the big one that I missed, which I knew, but it didn't, I didn't think of it, was that it would have to be organic certified. I'm not an organic farmer, I didn't think of that. This seed, if you remove the treatment and you have it certified, could be grown organically and used organically, but the process for getting it certified organically is a different process that I don't 
know much about. I'd assume the, the seed companies handle most of that. But otherwise, this is a non-traded seed. This is just a non-GMO seed. We could not use the stuff in this box to grow organic seeds. So I misspoke on that. I wanted to correct that because there were some people who pointed that out to me. Thank you to them for pointing that out. Now, let's go eat some pot roast. Well, you, you don't get to, but I, I do. I mean, you can eat your own pot roast, but you can't, you can't eat mine. Anna, are you pretty excited about hearing about the pot roast from me? Because you can't come in and eat any either. Sorry. But it's in there. It smells good, I bet. It's so good. It's gotten a little bit colder out here now. I forgot to mention that this thing does... Format problems. This thing does have a broken valve stem on the inner dual on the left side. So I'm just gonna pull it out of the way, hook up the rock picker, get that out of here, back this truck in, because I want it in the back when we pull that set of duals off in case we gotta take it to the shop and get it fixed. Otherwise, hopefully we can just drop a valve stem in there and not have to worry about it. But either way, I want it out of the way just to make sure it's not in the way. You know what I say? Swinging a miss. I'm gonna need to add a hammer strap to this hitch, which I didn't look at until now, but basically, I can take this piece off of here and bolt on a strap that comes up and over top so that this hitch is supported from top and bottom. I'm definitely gonna need that in the field, but Midwest will have that in stock or at least be able to get it quickly. For now, I'm just gonna move it around the yard without that. Just gotta clean up this disgusting mess before I back that service truck in here. Now it's time to go check in with an old friend we haven't heard from in a while. Thunder. Figured I'd take it for a little drive get the mud off the tires before I bring it into the shop. Plus, she just hasn't been out of the yard for a couple of months, so she's probably really curious as to what's going on out here. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Remember, farming is cool, spring is coming. What a beautiful night we have out here tonight. I don't think the camera does that justice. <laughs>